Good morning, it's James. It's really good to see you today. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the energy. I'm deeply grateful to have the honor and the blessing of laying eyes on you. And I do hope and pray that this message finds you and all the people that you love, peaceful, thriving, and very, very well. So today's message is for anyone in this community who sometime in their life or right here and right now, you have been labeled someone who's a, a nonconformist, someone who doesn't necessarily align with group think, Maybe sometime in your life or around this time in your life, you've been called a little bit weird, maybe even eccentric. And if any of those labels have found their way to you, I want to say welcome to the world that uh, I'm hoping that more and more of us can embrace. There's been some amazing research over the last few years, particularly from Adam Grant, who's a phenomenal human being, a great writer, and also one of the most popular professors at the Wharton School of Business at University of Pennsylvania, who has been really, really looking at the quality of someone who is just simply outside of the box. Maybe he doesn't even see the box. And I was looking at the etymology of the word eccentric, and I think you're gonna love this if you qualify, if you, <laughs> and oh my goodness, have I qualified over and over again. So see this circle right here, and that's the center. And down here, that's you, that's me, and anyone who has been called someone who actually thinks or lives outside of conformity. Weird, eccentric, uh, someone who is absolutely following the beat of their own drum and finds it more and more the thing that they need to do to remain true to their heart, to feel aligned with their soul's calling. And for all of us, I think it gives us a level of sanity, even though sometimes it feels lonely. And sometimes we feel like, oh my goodness, I just don't fit in. Well, interesting enough, the etymology of the word eccentric simply means moving away from the center. And it's deviating from conformity. It shows that you have unusual zeal, you have an adventurous spirit, and you're someone who absolutely believes in the possible, even when the rest of the world doesn't see it. We believe in the possible. I think this idea of being an eccentric is a superpower more and more. I've had many times in my life when people stumbled into the treehouse and they didn't know quite what we were doing here. They saw me presenting an idea. They saw me laughing, smiling, and crying because I do all those things here. I think we all do. And um, people are like, what is going on here? Gosh, when this seems like a really weird but kind of cool place. I'm not quite sure what to do here. And I'll simply say, you know what, if you're feeling called to look for a community that really honors all walks, all faiths, all orientations, really, really relishes the ideas of vulnerability and openness, feels like there's an opportunity for all of us who don't necessarily feel like we can conform with group think or don't want to, but are looking for a community where we can come together and believe in the possible, be hopeful, be zealous about the ideas that we feel in our heart that we wanna make manifest in the world, then yes, you, according to research and really good research around success and happiness and fulfillment and emotional well-being and stability, eccentricity is a superpower. So I just wanna simply share with you what it means for all of us who have wondered why we don't fit into that circle and find ourselves more and more happy to be on the outside looking in or looking continually out and seeing more and more of what makes us come alive. It's a beautiful time to realize what it is that we're all here to do, and that is to do the very best that we can to bring good into this world. And if we have to leave conformity to believe it's possible so we can show the world what it looks like to be fully awake, fully alive, fully in a space of grace with hope and a passionate belief in the possible, let us continue to do the great work and honor what it is that's been put inside of us a zealous desire to deviate from conformity, to have zeal for the journey that allows us to be true to our heart and soul's calling. Beautiful. Thank you for your time. Thank you for energy. And most importantly, thank you for being you. Much love. All blessings. Bye for now.